is short. Uh, there's a new muffler installed on the truck, but folks have said that uh, it's hard to hear me talking while I'm driving, so I'll keep it to a minimum. Uh, we're going um, about three hours one way. I did not know that, but to fetch a Magnavox Astrosonic 25 inch color combination. So we'll see how that goes. So far, so good. And um, I don't know what better way to uh, celebrate uh, Memorial Day but to buy a piece of American hardware built in, I believe, Knoxville, Tennessee. So we're going to vacation land, halfway to Canada, but we're not on vacation. Just going to fetch a vintage magna box. I did test the CRTS when I had a shot of the set was here originally from uh... Okay, well that has to be one of the heaviest consoles, but we were managed to slide it onto the, the back of the truck okay and uh, the tube was down and then I bumped it to 8 volts for about a minute well, not even a minute. I brought it right back down and all the guns, they came, it woke right up 
and turned it back down to six and all all three were way up in the green. I took the B&K uh, Oh, 475 I think it is. I'll have to get back to you on that, but the one with the three meters. And they all track pretty well. So now we got to worry about what to do with this, but it's uh, it's all good. The only thing missing is uh, the power cord. here with the Magnavox so we made it home safely uh, our, with our tire plug it must be on the bottom because I don't see it anywhere and that was some seven hours all highway so what we'll do is um, again this this set we took the doors off it's the changer area which has this breakdown of the the rubber here or something on there. Look at that bearing spin though. The thing about this is it's it's complete. We may not get to it anytime soon like everything. Project number uh, 1,864. But um, we've got to take care of it till the meantime. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back off and uh, blow out the Take the back off and blow out the air a little. I mean, uh, blow out the dust with some air. Over here, uh, there is no knob missing. I took off the loose knobs. This one is broken, by the way, but it's the shaft that's broken. But it was loose, so we took that separate. And the, uh, I think the channel selector we have, that was a little loose, so we took that. So, channel select reject. Could this be remote, by the way? I'm not. I'm not 100% um, because it does have a remote on off switch here. I'm not sure. I'll take a look inside. Uh, when we got this, it was uh, when we arrived, the, um, the back was off of it. The children had been playing with it. That's why they wanted it out of there. They were playing with the doors in the front and and, and this and that and they, the owners didn't want the kids to get in trouble but the back was off and I'm, I'm almost certain that the tube would have been necked but uh, it, luckily it hadn't been but the back was off of it let's see if this in fact is a remote control there's something on the tuner there I don't see a motor yes this is remote control Ay ay ay. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll have to ask the owners if uh, they have the remote for this. So this has been in the house since 1968 when it was delivered. Um, there are some date codes and whatnot. I don't know what this is, so this is one of our I don't know what this is. Like I say, the kids were playing, there's all kinds of things dropped in it. There were playing cards and whatnot. The tube uh, tests real good, as I said. It came right up, and that's a that's the original 25, um, well, it has AFP-22, 25 AFP-22, which isn't even listed as on the on the chart there, on, the, on this right here. I don't see a model number either. Some writing there on that label. I don't know what model number this is. I don't know what chassis. Okay, it's the chassis 867. Let me get some. It's a T931158AA chassis number. 867. It does have a pilot light in the front. Some RCA tubes. So maybe that is a replacement CRT, but it, I, it didn't look it and they don't recall. Let's go look at the other side. I don't know what these, these do appear to be broken 
pieces of something there. Again, we locked the changer down. When you move these, you always want to uh, lock the uh, changer down. Um, RCA horizontal and uh, damper. I can't make out that output tube. Ooh, a GE focus rectifier and whatnot. So this is in pretty nice shape. Oh, I know what this is. We found three of the four casters. There's the. I went actually went back for the casters. So that is for one of the casters. We found three of the four casters. Actually, I went back for the casters. There's a lot of RCA replacement tubes. There's another one over there in the IF section. Here's the tube chart there. Six, six JE6 is the output. And again, I can't tell if that tube's original or not. This may have been the model number there. I, I don't know. I've got to get this in as close as possible to the house. So that's today's project. Well, one thing I wanted to notice, if you look, there's a channel indicator there at the end of that uh, cable setup there with the gears. That runs up to the tuner. I wonder why this, this kind of explains why this was so heavy. It's a remote control set. Okay, we're going to round out the uh, video of this Magnavox remote astrosonic model. Uh, these people, uh, they're, probably, they're yanking on these doors so the kids or something. One of the uh, sliders up top is, is broken, but it's, it doesn't affect the operability. Uh, doors open. These are cataracts, which we'll need to clear up, but that's not a problem. Doors open. Doors closed. And I'm going to take the back off one more time and uh, blow out the dust with the uh, air compressor. Okay, I know inquiring minds are going to want to know, does it work? Plug it in, but uh, I've just got to wait till other projects are complete before I can start any new ones. For now, I'm just going to blow this out and button it up. These sliders make it uh, incredible to just move something like this. I'm telling you, this thing weighs at least, it's got to be over 200 pounds, and I've got to try to slide it down the ramps into its final resting home there for now. Probably on its side for now. Okay. Okay, and one last shot of the underneath here. Uh, there was something on the floor looked like it was li trying to live under here. I don't know if it was in there. I don't think so, but that's what that's all about. I was hoping it wasn't particle board, but it is. So, and here's our our date, the 43rd week of 1967. CWT. I don't know if that's the factory or what. Like I said, I thought this was Knoxville. And uh, before things fade into the past, as we all know, there's a channel knob, the uh, broken selector knob, and three casters. We don't have four. So we'll try and find the remote for this next, and uh, that'll do it for now on the Magnavox Astrosonic. Oh, and we have the, the doors too are here, so it's all complete. Thanks for watching. Okay, so trying to finish up the video on the Magnavox here. I went out to grab a bite to eat. 
someone I know at the establishment said, oh, on my way to work, I saw a uh, TV at the end of my road. I'm like, oh, great. So it's on the stand and everything. Thought it was black and white. So I uh, take a look, and there's the stand. And it was getting dark, and here's the set. I don't have a year on it, but I'm going to say 1970-ish. Complete with slide controls. The, uh, I don't have the SAMs on it yet, but it's a Sharp C1928 model. And it is a Delta gun. Weighs a ton. And it's a, it all t either a hybrid or an all-tube set. It does have a service panel on the bottom. Let me get some focus. Dirt and dust. That's the model C1928. Made in T O C H I O H I C I H I G I Japan. As soon as I get the SAMs on it, I'll uh, get the model number and whatnot, and I'll show you. I'll put it up. I don't think that's the stand that came with it, but it's something that'll that holds it pretty well. So there you have one rabbit ear is broken. Okay, one broken rabbit ear. Vertical hold, horizontal hold here. Slide rule UHF. Presets for color and tint on the side. And here's the access panel on the bottom. So, add another one to the collection, the Sharp.